Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Pablo Gavi as Spanish captains defend Barcelona star Gavi as relations with Madrid midfielder Dani Ceballos get more bad. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, Talking about Robert Lewandowski, who recently made a comment on Messi, potential arriving Barca. As he said, playing with Messi will be very easy. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to turn on the post bell notification so you always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Age has never stopped Gavi from being a dominant presence for Barcelona, not only on the ball, but also in terms of leadership. The youngster makes it a point to show exactly what he feels on the field. However, trivial the interland, when Dani Ceballos pulled um, Gavi's hair in the Clásico in January, Gavi unsurprisingly did not take it well. The golden boy got his revenge in the Catalans 2-1 win over Real Madrid at the Camp Nou, shoving the midfielder in the center of the park with the ball nowhere in sight. The rift between the duo carried into the Spanish national team camp ahead of the subsequent Euro qualifiers. However, La Roja manager Luis de la Fuente immediately assured fans that the duo had sorted out their differences, he said. Ceballos and Gavi have shown exceptional human quality. They are going to give their lives for each other. According to reports from El Laguero, the bad relationship between the two midfielders has become concerning for the Spanish national team. Though both players have taken their own shots at each other, the Spanish captains side with Gavi and have spoken in his favor. It is not the first time that the Barcelona youngster is being defended for his actions and overt aggression. Reports earlier this year stated that the RFEF had zero problems with the Golden Boy's behavior and in fact considered it exemplary. It remains to be seen how De La Fuente manages the situation and if either player faces a sanction for reigniting the fight. In either case, the Blaugrana midfielder appears to be safe and has the team's backing. Gavi is said to have his new contract registered with La Liga in the coming days once Barcelona received the green light from the league. Why there have been rumors linking Gavi away from Barca, the prodigy called for calm last month and assured fans of his continuity. Of course, Gavi has always been a fighter. I love the thing about Gavi is he has a very big heart. You know, Gavi is Gavi is that kind of a guy who can give his all for Barcelona. And he has won many hearts of many Barca fans. And it's great to see Gavi, you know, acting so maturely and ensure that he defends the Barca badge. It's something that not many players do for their clubs. Not many players do for their respective clubs. And Gavi, who have taken some certain things so serious, like the one with Ceballos, as we are talking about, the matter was so serious because Gavi backed what Ceballos did by pulling his hair. Gavi backed it on the second leg of the game of the La Liga where we won two goals to one. And it was a very, very serious battle. But De La Fuente in the Spanish national team is trying to assure fans that they shouldn't be worried about us too. Despite the rumors of a heated argument still going on. But he's saying that Gavi has calmed down and both players are moving on. But now, going to the extent where the, 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 the captains of the national team are trying to calm Gavi and calm Ceballos to not further the rift, it means it was something really serious. So we hope that things are going on well and Gavi, of course, there are certain times that Gavi should learn how to control his temper. Definitely, we all understand that the Classico is always something with hot temper, which makes it even more exciting for many fans, you know. And Gavi is that kind of a player who can make classicals very exciting with a personal fight and personal beef that have been disappearing in this generation of players. Except Gavi who still have that fight of the Puyols, of the Mascheranos in the past. Of course, we don't have that spirit again. These are our players nowadays are too soft and Gavi is not showing that, that spirit. So 
let's see. Gavi still very young, still 19. A lot to play. Um, what a player he is. What a player who well, have won the hearts of many callers out there. And of course, why wouldn't you like Gavi? He's a fighter. He plays for the Bash. Despite the rumors of him linked to a club, clubs outside of Barca because of his contract situation, there is no way Barca is leaving his club anytime soon. As a player himself has assured the fans that he is here to stay. He wants to stay for a very, very long time as a Barcelona player. Then on to the final story of discussion. Robert Lewandowski's first season at Barcelona has been nothing short of a dream. The Polish striker has taken La Liga by storm this season and sits comfortably atop the goal-scoring charts. With one game to go in the Spanish league, Lewy has a stunning 23 goals to his name and is 5th player of 2nd place Karim Benzema. Needless to say, his name appears engraved on the Pichichi Trophy for the 2022-23 season at this point. During his recent interview with RTVE, Lewandowski opened up about Lionel Messi and his possible return in the summer and he expressed his thoughts about potentially sharing the dressing room with him. He said, we have to wait and see if Messi comes to Barca. Hopefully he comes, maybe in a few days or we'll no more. The post said, the Barcelona striker then went on to elaborate on why it would be easy for him to strike an understanding with the Argentine star and praised his versatility. Lewandowski said, I know that playing with Messi will be easy because Leo can play with you from any moment of the game, he said. Xavi and his players have been extremely vocal about the former captain's possible move home over the past few months. In fact, the manager himself gave a detailed interview about Leo's possible arrival and his role in the team earlier this week. Messi is said to be in a hurry to sort out his future and has given Barcelona a deadline of 10 days to bring him an official proposal. The World Cup winner has lucrative offers on the table from Inter Miami and Al Hilal and will advance negotiations with one of them if the Catalans fail to meet his demand. Barcelona for Japan are optimistic of receiving the green light from La Liga by Tuesday. An official bid for the Argentine can be expected soon after. Of course, Lewandowski is really wishing to play with Messi from his words, you can see it. And I think those two will be very, they're understanding because I think when Messi plays and there's a player who is sharp when you talk about goal scoring, then you can guarantee that there is success because we can look at the likes of Suarez, Messi and Suarez were so understanding and a lot of goal scoring because Messi can pinpoint any pass, especially when you are a striker who is vigilant. And I think that Lewandowski playing with Messi next season will be a great thing for us. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.